What's up everybody? My name's Akin Keeblet and we are back with some more Kingdom Hearts 3 news. And yes, I know we have had a ton of news. We just haven't had any in so long, so it's nice, I guess, to make videos about Kingdom Hearts 3 news again. But today we have some decently big news. Drive forms are being considered to be put back into Kingdom Hearts 3, and also summons are being put back in the game, but they are going to have sort of a new twist and a cool twist. But first, let's get to what the articles say. In the first article and interview from Destructroid with Tetsuo Nomura, they ask Mr. Nomura, I see the Sora is dressed up in some new duds. With our history of costume design, are we going to see changing outfits to go with form changes in Kingdom Hearts 2? And Nomura quickly says, yes, form changes are being considered to bring back. I have enjoyed making different designs for different abilities in the past. So, this is huge. Drive changes were giant in Kingdom Hearts 2. They made you practically a god in the game at the end. It was amazing to be so powerful. Thing is, I don't know if we're going to have the exact same forms or we're going to get different forms. I kind of want a mixture of both or maybe all of the ones from Kingdom Hearts 2 plus more. I don't know. All I know is that it's pretty badass, but it's getting into the territory of Sora being pretty freaking OP. Keyblade transformations, attraction flow, and dry forms, and then also summons. And let's get to the summons article. In some sort of fan site interview from Kingdom Hearts fans, Nomura answered questions, and one of the questions was... In Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, we were used to have Disney characters joining our party in each new world Sora and his friends visit. Will this mechanic be present in Kingdom Hearts 3? Nomura then said, Right, the idea of having Disney characters joining your party was an important part of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. So yes, you will be able to have Disney characters joining your team across the game. And this is a part that's kind of interesting. Not just as a temporary party member in the worlds, but also as summons. So yes, this is something that was pretty big. In Kingdom Hearts 1, having a party member was kind of cool, but you didn't. I never used him, honestly, because I wanted to level up Donald and Goofy. In Kingdom Hearts 2, they fixed that. Everybody pretty much got experience, no matter if they're fighting or not. And if you got a really badass partner, you kind of want to use them outside of that world, but you couldn't in Kingdom Hearts 2. But now this may be changing. We can actually summon them outside of their own world. I don't know if they're going to be like a partner if, or if they're going to have like a reaction command like in Kingdom Hearts 2 where you call them in and they do those attacks. That would be pretty badass. Or if they're just going to have their own summon attacks. I'm not really sure. Like I said, this is all I know what I'm reading right here. And yes, I know I said, made a video that said no reaction commands are going to be in Kingdom Hearts 3, but these are kind of different. I don't really see them as much of a reaction commands anyways. But that would be pretty badass. And if you get like a freaking summon or a beast and you just want to spam them then you can that'd be awesome I love that idea of having the party members come and become summoned so those are some small news little feeds again tell me what y'all think about them do you like that we have summons again and, th and that we can use party members as summons now too and also what do you think about having drive for in fact do you think we're getting a little too OP with all these things we can do and yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this little video. If you did, then please punch that like button in your fist. It means a lot. My name's Arcane Keyblade. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.